your boy, we are back on the channel for today with some Forza Horizon 5, which is not something I have done on here before, so I am super stoked to just kick it with you guys on the channel. Now, I wasn't initially going to do a stream tonight, but couldn't sleep, so I said, you know what, fuck it, why not? Let's jump on, have some fun, have a good time with you guys. And hop on some Forza Horizon 5, dude. Now, if you guys don't know, I'm a massive fan of Forza. I've been playing Forza since Forza Horizon. Well, I started out... I started out weird. Let's just say that. I started out really weird. I started out playing number 4. Then I went back and played number 2 and number 3. And then I jumped into number one. And then I made my way over to the current one, which is number five. So I'm definitely a, a long time fan of the series. I've been playing since number four came out in 2018. So I've definitely been playing for quite some time now. Absolutely love this series. It's one of my personal favorite car game series, hands down. Just because there's so much to do, there's so much creativity, there's so much fun to be had. And so right off rip, we are going to change out the wheels on this Mustang. Because don't get me wrong, I do love the wheels on this Mustang, but no, those rims gotta go. I want to say I'm almost digging those stock rims. But I do want to get a proper set of wheels because we are doing a drift tune on this. And, uh, you know what, nah, we're gonna do a straight up fucking rally tune with this, man. We're gonna do a straight up old school classic ass rally tune. And yes, rally, Mustangs have done rally events. As weird as it is, they have done that. Not necessarily my favorite car, because I have done, uh, Dirt 2.0. Uh, competition events and time trial events and I can genuinely say that Mustangs are not the best cars for throwing down a good solid time now if you want a car that's a solid time attack car for rally events I would highly suggest I know it sounds weird but anything front wheel drive is definitely a go. Anything front wheel drive, anything all wheel drive, like your Subarus, um, stuff like that, stuff of that nature, those are good cars. But a rear wheel, very rarely will you hear of a rear wheel drive car being a good time car for rally events. So we are going to do some rally tires on this thing. Make this thing decked out. Let's throw down some arrow. Even though it looks stupid, we do want the downforce. Even though I'm not a very big fan of it. Definitely not going for the all-wheel drive train. We are switching up a couple things here. Such as that we're throwing a rally diff on. Leaving that. Normally, a lot of people would go for the drift diff, but we're doing the rally drive train. Oh. 
After this one, I think we may just end up throwing a roll, a roll cage in there just for, just for GP, man, just general purpose. Actually, no, you know what, we're going to leave that. Alright, those are all set. Alright, so this thing is ready to go. We just gotta get her tuned out. Dude, that only costs us 28 grand. That's not bad. Also, in the comments now, let me know what you guys think about this setup. Like, do you guys like how I have it? Or do you guys want to switch things up? Or is it good the way it is? Shout out to Jasmine in the comments. What's good, Jasmine? How you doing? Now, tire pressure for a rally style uh, tunes. I usually go with 17.5 in the front and 20 in the rear. And then gearing, you can leave that alone. Toe in, you usually want that at like a 1.5. Toe out, I usually leave that at 1.1. Anti-roll bars, you want that shit soft. Because you're going to be bouncing around a lot when you're doing rally events. You will bounce around quite a bit. So you do want that extra spring rate. You want your springs obviously soft for bumps and jumps and shit. Ride high, you want that as high as you can go because you're going to be fucking bouncing. Same with rebound stiffness, you do want all that shit soft. Arrow, this is where a lot of people mess up. They think that you know, doing speed in the rear and cornering or speed in the rear and front both is good. No. You want cornering in the front and speed in the rear. Because your car is, is going to be pushed by the rear tire when it's rear wheel drive. That shit's going to be pushed. And braking force, I usually do... About 70% to the front. XO and D cell, you want that shit cranked. Like as high as you can get it. Now, if you guys don't know, yes, I do do a lot of drifting, but I'm also a very big fan of rally stages, man. Now, normally I would be on wheel, but my wheel is acting very weird with my Xbox, so I may have to, you know, get a new one. Ooh, damn. I think I set this thing up for both drift and rally, bro, because this thing is a monster. Fuck that tree. That didn't happen. I didn't hit shit. That's fake news. Yo, Mania, don't ban Jasmine. That's a different Jasmine. She's cool. She's okay, don't worry, that's not my ex Jasmine, that's a different Jasmine, she's okay. A 
That's a different Jasmine. It's all good. Okay, yeah, we definitely got this thing tuned really well. And that was a truck. Now, I do want to take this to a rally stage and test it out, so we're going to do that really quickly. We're going to take this to a rally stage and run this. Favorite car to drive when I race. That's a tough one, dude. That's a very tough one because I do like all kinds of cars in general. And I feel like different cars have different, you know, strengths and weaknesses. So for me, it all depends on what kind of race I'm doing. Like, say if I'm doing, like, um, say if I'm doing just a straight up rally stage and I'll use something like, you know, a Subaru or a Land Evo or something of that nature. And then when it comes to like actual like races, like high octane races, I'll usually use something like a Pagani, a McLaren, um, a Lambo, maybe even a Ferrari here or there. It just all depends on what the race is. Like, Forest Rally Custom Rolls. Let's try that one. Let's see what we can do with the Forest Rally events. Oh God, and it's raining. Head to the pits to prepare your car. Oh, you have to go over here. Okay, hold up. I think I got it now. So the pits would be over here. Whoa, that was a my bad. I did not see that corner coming up.
It's been a while since I've done racing games, man. You gotta give me a break here. It's been a while. No, go for it. I definitely may need to throw some all wheel on this. Yeah, all wheel drive may be the way to go. And now you guys see why rear wheel drive cars never succeed in rally events. This is why. Because it's very hard for them to get around those corners. And that's why. Yeah, I'm gonna have to throw all wheel drive on. Cause as you can see, this thing is not doing the best right now. Oh god. This thing is terrible. I need my all wheel drive, damn it. Got a little chicane right there. Not bad. Want that? Treat that. And the tree got me stuck. Damn it. Oh, God. So, that's the one for anybody that wants to get into rally racing. On any level, whether it's sim or real life, don't use a rear wheel drive car, trust me. Oh, shit. Yeah, let's bounce out of that. Because, <laughs> yeah. And yo, Jasmine, you kind of forgot to follow me, so you might want to do that if you haven't done so already. And if you guys have not done so yet, man, be sure to hit that follow button if you guys are enjoying the content. Yeah, I need to go back and add a... Um... I need to add all wheel to this thing because this thing is complete garbage right now. So, yeah, I need to mess with this a bit. Right, it's not bad. The way it handles is actually very good. I just need to upgrade so I can have all wheel drive. Because this thing is not like doing that shit. Make sure everything is set. Alright, so we're finally good. Now we have all wheel drive rolling. Now, this is going to be a mad long stream, and I may end up switching games throughout the stream because I do want to do a. Or a subathon or a follow event for you guys. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Alright, so I do have a whoa. That was close. Okay, yeah, now we have way more control.
Let's go, dude. Ah, crap, failed that drift zone. That's okay. I'll just mess around with that one anyway. Now, let's hit up the event lab and then let's go here to history. Now, I do want to show you guys a map that I created personally called Dead Man's Loop. And trust me when I say, you guys will see why it is called Dead Man's Loop. There is a very specific reason that I called it Dead Man's Loop. And trust me when I say, it's sketchy. That's all I gotta say, it's sketchy as fuck. And for this one, I think we are going to run the, let's go with the Shinkwe, the Pagani Shinkwe Roadster for this one, because this one is going to be, just trust me when I say guys, this is why, it's dark, very little room to see. And I do mean very little room to see. So if you guys want to take a stab at it, man, I want to see you guys throw down your best times on Dead Man's Loop. Like, you really gotta be fucking careful, dude. And bear in mind, this is a two lap run. So you guys ain't just going around this shit once, you're going around this shit twice. Ah, crap, I wanted to switch views, not... Shit. And that's reason number one why you need to be careful on this course, man. Especially approaching that bridge. Out of the guardrail. And like I said, man, you're doing this whole thing not once, but twice. So it's definitely a sketchy course, for sure.
This thing is built to test your visibility and how well you know your car. Doing two hundo down the highway here. Yo, Yado, what up, man? Welcome to the strand, dude. Hey, dude, if you're enjoying the stream, man, be sure to hit that follow button, bro. Show some love and hit that follow button, man. Oh boy, that was close. Dude, we are just pushing it right now, dude. Four minutes, 55 seconds, man. Let's see if you guys can top that. If you guys are wondering what the course name is, it's called Dead Man's Loop by ES Blade 2022, man. Be sure to hit it up, man. So if you guys are on Forza, man, and you guys like a challenging map, there you go. Hey, I'm walking away with that 100K. Let's go. I would have preferred that old school car down below, but I'll take a hundred grand. Also, if you guys would like to donate, all my stuff is down below, man. Both my cash app and my PayPal are down below if you guys would like to donate at any time. Out here smoking tires. Let's see how far we can send this thing, just pure stock. Oh, hold up, we got a gift. Oh, bro, come on. Let's, let's go, man. Alright, so we hit 205, that's not bad. But I guarantee you we can top that shit so easily. Dude, I'm far from being a pro, dude.
I'm way far from being a pro dude, but I do appreciate the compliment. What about the bus stop? One of my cars that actually is one of the cars. That actually put me in the top, uh, like two or three percent on this game in particular. And it's not one that a lot of, that a lot of people would think is actually a good one, but it actually is. And that would be the Mossler MT900S. This thing is an absolute fucking monster when it comes to jumps. Oh, dude, I had ninja I had to get rid of, man. Hey, one thousand three hundred. Let's go, dude. Not bad, but I know we can top that. I know for a fact we can top that. Uh, oh shit, I just realized I'm on the wrong account. That's okay. This is my spare account, but hey, it's all good. Because I have something that'll blow the doors off that. Bust out my drag soup right here. This shit freaking flies, dude. I'm not even joking. Like, this thing is a freaking rocket. Oh boy. Like, this Supra is a fucking missile, dude. This thing's like a goddamn cruise missile. It just goes. Let's go, dude. Dang. Okay. And we three started that shit.
that shit's a fucking cruise missile. And then, like I said, man, this is just my spare account. Let me show you guys my main account here. Let me switch over to my main. That's just my spare account, dude. My main account. Bro. My main account is like dead ass. Oh, dude, supers are the shit, bro. I love supers, man. 100%. And I say, I know a lot of you guys were wondering how can you donate to me and stuff like that. Because I know a lot of you guys would like to donate. If you guys go to the About Me on my page, all the info is right there. And so for those of you that do want to donate, you guys can. Because I know a lot of people were asking, like, you know, hey, how do I donate? How do I show support? Da, da, da. My Cash App and my PayPal are both in the About Me section on my main channel. Welcome back, Speed Demon. Thank you. Uh, let's see, where's my Koenig Saga? Ah, here we go. Now, let's take this thing for a little jump, shall we? Let's say you're saying for a nice little jump. Ow. And not just any conic seg, dude. The conic seg. This Koenig Seg in particular is actually the fastest or one of landed it one of the fastest cars in the game. Damn we that way slid away. Let's go. Yeah, that's actually, you're actually correct, dude. It's the Koenig said Jesco. Bruh, we fucking flew, dude. Like, oh yeah, back there's the festival, man. We just fucking do. Two thousand five hundred eighty four, man, that's insane. Now, look, here's us, man. Now we gotta travel like a quarter mile. If not further, all the way back to the festival, bruh. 
Not gonna lie, this thing handles really well off road. Like, dude, look at that, man. We flew all of that way. I'm not gonna lie, that was that wasn't even skill. That was just pure freaking luck, dude. I cannot lie, that one, that flip, that was pure fucking luck, bro. Yo, let's go, we got a super wheel spin, boy. Let's see what we get. Thank you, thank you, and ooh, thank you, BMW M3. I'll take it. Let's grab up the mob slayer here, which is one of my personal, wait, I thought I had that one. Hmm, guess not. But I do have this Paul Walker quick boy ready to freaking go. Uh, not bad. But that's not the jump that everyone likes to hit. The jump that everyone's trying to top is this boy down here. Now I'm probably just deciding what car I want to drive down there. <laughs> Definitely not taking this thing, man. That Unimog, man, that shit sucks. Mm. 
Bruh, I've got that backfire popping off, man. Damn. Ooh, hold up. Looks like you got us a playlist event right up here. Hold up. Where's it at? Uh, oh, it's down here. Okay. You know, screw that other jump, man. We're going for that playlist event down here. Okay. I dig it, I dig it. Bro, that backfire on this Evo, though. Wait, is it? Ah. Got that backfire, dude. Yeah, yeah. Oh, let's go, dude. All BMW stuff. Okay. We're going for the E63, man. We got to go for the E63, dude. Got to. Also, man, shout out to my brother from across the pond, man, Clint. Shout out to you, my man. And we rocking those camo pants, man, looking clean. Oof. Y'all ready for this? Mm -hmm. 
Wait for everybody to roll in. Watch out. Thank you. Dude, I hate drivers like that. But hey, that's all right though. We're, we're still winning. We are doing good. And this is why I chose the E63, man. It's definitely got very good handling. Yeah, this guy's over here rear-ending me trying to get around me, and it's not going to work. Why is this guy trying to drift the fucking corner like an idiot? Bro, this ain't a fucking FD calm, dude. Stop trying to drift corners, you idiot, before I freaking smack into you. You know what? Just go around your ass. Cause, uh, screw you and your drifting, dude. Oh god, this guy is coming up on my ass fucking quick. It's like he wants to fucking battle me for no fucking reason, dude. For once, I'm saying thank you to the other guy that's on our team. He actually blocked him off. Thank you. Thank you to that other guy, man. He got annoying... Oh god, he's back. Blocked him off and we took it. We're good. Ah. Oh. oh, that was a pain. Let me check my shit real quick.
Ooh, one looks like a toge kind of map almost. Excuse me, coming through. Mm. Bro, we freaking sandwiched those guys. That was good shit. Oh god, there's that dude that likes to drift way too much. I'm my way, bitch. Oh, you fucking... Mm. That was some bullshit. Y'all saw that. That's why I hate guys that don't drive proper, man. I hate that shit. I hate rammers, dude. They're annoying. That rammer legit just put me in fucking last place, but at least we're winning. If anything, like, at least we're taking a win. Bruh, really? You really want to go in between. I fucking hate ramblers, dude. And that's why. That right there is exactly why I hate ramblers, dude. Because they screw you up like that. But hey, at least we freaking won. Really, dude, I've already got that car. I don't need that car, but... Okay. Now y'all see why I hate rammers and... And why all these dudes, they're a freaking pain, dude.
Oh, dang, got a little backfire going on. Oh, Alright, so we knocked out that one from the playoffs. That gives us 10 points. We need 20 for the Chevy K10, which I don't know if I have that one or not, but I will have to look. Next up on the event list, we have... Post a clean lap with the Cupra. Okay. I can do that. Which I've never driven the Cooper. Well, I have driven the Cooper, but not that much. So I don't know how the Cooper is really going to handle. I haven't had much seat time with it. But hopefully it handles really well. I'm very, I'm very hopeful that it'll do good. Oh god, it's electric. Oh well. If you guys don't know, I'm not a very big fan of electric cars. And now you see why. They handle like shit. Probably sounds like a fucking jet trying to take off, dude. God, that car sucks. I am not a fan of that Cupra, dude. I am not a fan. I know for a lot of y'all eco-friendly car drivers out there, no disrespect to you guys, but dude, your electric cars are shit. Just saying. Like, your guys' electric cars are fucking garbage. Let's see what we got for this cross-country event. Ooh, okay, we got us some good cars. Got the Ford Escort. You know what, let's run the Ford Escort, man. Do some rally-style shit. Also, post on the comments if you guys would like to see me do some paint jobs. So let's run this shit and see what we can get out of it, boys.
Oh god. Yeah, that was trash. That was garbage. Nope, trash, garbage. Get it out of here. Now, I do want to show you guys something that I did discover that not a lot of people know about. I want to show you guys a very special uh, drift spot that I had actually discovered on here that not a lot of people know about or even use. But it's actually a lot of fun. And for this one, we are going to use the... Which one do I want to use? Which one do I want to use? You know, let's go with the Skyline GTR 31. Let's go with the R31, dude. Alright, so apparently I'm going to have to jump to this ledge, maybe. Or not! I can just go down through here. Okay, cool. Get off of there, thank you. Not a lot of people know about there, but this is a cool little drift area. For those of y'all that want to practice your tight cornering drifts, man, head over down here by the beach, dude. It's literally, like, right here. And if you're not careful, that will happen right there. So yeah, if you guys ever need a really fun drift spot, just come on down, hit it up. Yeah, you gotta watch out for that rock, though, man. That rock will get you if you ain't careful. Sorry. Yeah, just clear that out. Now also, I will be starting up a gaming channel on YouTube here very soon, so I am excited about that. Oh damn, out here fucking getting it, bro. lost it right there.
Just out here throwing it. My question is, how is there not a drift zone down here? That's my question. Because you can link together some six slides down here. And that, my friends, is the what I call the Emerald City Drift Park, man. It's definitely a lot of fun. So if you guys are ever on, and y'all want to hit up a little nice drift spot, down here is a perfect spot. I actually discovered this about a year and a half ago. Throw that nice little run back up. Oh, damn. Oh, got caught in the garden. And there you go, and that is the Emerald City Drift Park, man. You know, let's hit it 360. And it didn't work out the way I wanted. Ooh, that was sketch. Damn, someone's in a hurry, bruh. Bro, that was pure luck.
That one was pure luck. I honestly thought I was going to smack into that other dude. Alright y'all, with that being said, man, I am going to take a break for now and prepare here in a little bit for some ranked Fortnite matches. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you guys did, be sure to hit that follow button. And again, if you guys would like to donate, be sure to check my About Me section on my channel. It's right there. You guys can donate to either my PayPal or my Cash App. Either one works. And uh, yeah, with that being said, I'll catch you guys later, man. I uh, freaking love you guys, and I'll catch you guys in a bit, man. As always, stay humble, stay positive, and keep being yourself, man. Fucking love you guys. Peace.